everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of the Battle for Astrakhazi. So the hooligans have returned to their main base through the Merrick forces. Merrick units have been warned several times not to approach our base, but the warnings seem to be falling on deaf ears. As a Merrick unit once again approaches the base, the hooligans move out to engage it. Breeze? Alright, here we are. So this is a three skull battle mission and it warned me that um, it might require more tonnage than what I had. I had my, my skull rating is a two skull rating. And I dropped pretty much where they uh, recommended I drop. It looks like we've come in right behind the enemy here. Which is kind of like advantageous, I guess. So the mech loadouts have changed slightly. You'll see them here in a second. Ooh, what the hell is that? Somebody with a gauss rifle and chem rifles. Oh really? They're heading your way. Didn't notice that. So he's got a little flag sticking up in the back. What is that? Oh, it's an avatar, really? It's got a cool little flag on him. Oh, it's kind of nice. All right, so uh, this could be a problem. So um, Digger has got the rack now. We took the PPC off this mech. Put the rotary auto cannon 5 on. Had to drop a medium laser, but I was able to keep a large laser on here. So um, we do have a bit of firepower on this guy. So we're going to have to get on the enemy really, really fast here. Um, and hopefully bring them down quick. Like, we're not going to be able to really hit the back of this guy. It's the first turn, so it's always the worst, right? So let's just move here. Get some evasion going. I'm going to have to decide how we're going to run this because uh, we're not in the best of positions here. He's at the edge of the map. Let's keep our heat down. MRMs or LRMs? LRMs. This could be bad. Okay, he's got a laser AMS. That should heat him up nicely. What's this guy? Saladin. Okay. Nidhogg. I don't know if it's a full strength second lens. Come on. Send me a real mech. Yep. But well, we've only got we've only got six guys here. We don't have a full um, retinue, unfortunately. Uh, do I want to get close to these guys or do I wanna See I wish I had brought the galleon now. We could just delete somebody. If I'm pushing close to the edge of the map, then we got to come back. This, uh, I guess so. I guess so. Let's go here. Kind of glad I don't have the LBX-20 on me right now because I'd be running out of ammo with this. Let's go with Cluster. Uh, do I want to use a barrage on that guy? Pro uh, let's hold off. I'm taking the shot. That's not bad. A little bit of damage. Take that. Receiving you. You guys are going to be in a lot of trouble. God, really? We got these juicy back shots and can't take it. What if I reserve? Let's reserve these two. They're gonna make for a really nice target. What is this guy? That's the Ostwar, right? He's still got his back to us. What's up, boss? So this is our melee mech, the swordsman now. Um, it's got okay speed to it. Got two medium pulse lasers and an SRM six. We've got a mining drill and the vibro sword. That's not bad. That's gonna put us in range to strike next turn. I'm hoping we can do a lot of damage with this thing. Um 
sort on cockpit hot, hot seat cockpit is off currently um, he's got he's down two energy weapons we've got acid ammo only we can capitalize with a back strike that'll be nice depending on what this where this what the saladin does and what the trebuchet does Okay, he's turning. On the fire starter. Okay. I think we gotta get in close with these guys. It's a weird thing to it's a weird thing to say, but I think we have to. Eleven percent, really? Alright, well it's going full throttle. Saladin's going to shoot no matter what, but if we can claim this Ostwar Aust early on, 31%. How much armor does he have? It's blown through. So I'm going to take the chance. We're going to go this route and unload everything on him. Um, we've only got chaff for that, so we'll fire it anyway. Roger that. And we missed the big one. Crap. No joy. Something good. SRMs are out. That was a vehicle back there. So this is the Saladin. So they may, they may, this may be an understrength lance. It may only be two. In which case we're okay. Theory. We're okay. In th in, just in theory we're okay. The Saladin's taking... Well, he's backing up. Still firing though. He should take the rack next turn, I think. Nope, they got more guys. So they probably have eight in total. Commander... Damn it. Wish I didn't have to get this close. Come on, man. I should have got off the pot. I think we take the lower chance to hit, I but the better it. chance to survive. Lower chance to hit, better chance to survive. Hopefully we can take the torso, or one of the torsos here. Well, at least we're hitting the... <laughs> at least we're hitting the other guy, too. Get some mag pulse on them both. Okay, so they do have four back there. That's pretty good. Move order confirmed. Pretty good. So we have. Let's go with Artemis. Better chance to hit. Firing. Score to critical. Okay, he's two. He's down two heat sinks, which is good for us. Nidhogg is friggin' bad news. It's moving in too. Okay, what are you doing? Pull him back to shoot, probably. Ow. My mech's coming apart around me. Yeah? Roger. If we don't get in here and kill these guys now, we're done. We, we can't exchange. We can't spend long turns exchanging blows with these guys. Um, yes. Acknowledge. Okay, we got first blood. Gotcha. Yeah, you can't run. There's no running. Yep. 
gonna leave him for the uh, the other guys to pick off. We're gonna go after this Nidhogg. Okay, good chances to hit here. 60% with six, huh? Let's go with four. Gives us 72 with four. All right, firing. Okay, I'm on it. Okay, we got three hits on him. Waiting for orders. Still out of range, eh? I put the biggest engine I could in this guy. Doesn't seem to be doing much though. Okay, let's get into here. This kind of pins that avatar. No matter which way he goes, I'll get a shot at him probably. Get the acid ammo on him, firing. Okay, a couple of them landed, I think. Yep. Take a bit of acid damage. Aye, aye. Alright, that's tricky. You know what your job is? Heading out. Delete the big gun. Fire. Yeah, he's got a little Karita flag on the back of his thing there. Awaiting orders. All right, how are you doing? You almost lost this arm, eh? And leg. Wow. There's no hiding in this match, though. Okay, so that puts our left side towards him. Let's go here. Confirmed. And let's return fire on this guy. He's got pair of LRM 20s. Holy crap. Confirmed. Not a lot, but it's something. So we got our SRM2 EMP guy left. Pegasus SRM. What's the last guy? A Prowler and Laser Hetzer. Got something you want done? Think we should go behind this guy? Oh yeah, I forgot. I've only got a. Uh, Limited ability to jump. What's our... I think we just go for a side attack. Let's get into here. On the move. And firing. Taking the shot. Okay, he's got more uh, more EMP on him, more mag pulse, which means he's gonna seat sinking is even worse. Not that it makes that much difference at this point. Reporting minimal damage. Uh, barely hit, Commander. Who's first this turn? Yeah, Commander. Melee mech. All right, do we kill the avatar? So physical weapon is 43 damage with an 84% chance to hit. If I charge him, it's a 50% chance to hit. Why is it that when everyone charges me, they automatically hit? It's like anyone that's ever charged me has never missed. So we can turn off. So those guys are automatically off. We can turn this off. Run the mining drill on them. Go for it. Move order received. Fuck's sake. <sighs> Hooray. Waste of a mech turn. <laughs> okay. 
Fair enough. You better fly away, buddy. I'm coming and get you. Actually, I'm coming to get the trebuchet this turn. He's got a parallel arm 20s and he can shred my lighter max. As long as Nidho as long as the Nidhog is shooting from my main guy. That's okay. Now I'm in trouble because I don't have a uh, an option here. Let's go here. Roger that. Get on this guy. Hopefully force him to get out of here. Okay, we got the tag on. Who do we got next? Oh, somebody's meleeing. Yeah, see? They always seem to hit me. There's the charge attack. 100% chance to hit with the charge attack. Every fucking time they charge me, 100% chance to hit. It's just so ridiculous. What do you need? Ah, <laughs> uh, it's just painful. I don't even know what to. S I don't even know what to say to that. Uh, let's get on this guy. I gotta get rid of him. He's just in the wrong spot. So let's uh, switch to MRMs. Much better. And firing. Take this. Nice. How did that taste? Excellent. That's how it tasted. This guy's dead this turn. Well, at least the Hetzer's only got like medium lasers. Waiting for orders. Alright. Yeah, he's got pretty good back armor. He's got VSPL, so that's kind of nice. Um, sure. Virus. Critical hit, Commander. Should be able to knock his ass armor. down this turn. Should be able to knock his ass down. Uh-huh. Damage minimal. Okay, now the question yeah. is, I think we step out in front. God, who do I take down? This guy hasn't gone yet. Let's move. He hasn't gone yet, so we gotta go we gotta go after this guy. Uh and fire. Copy that. So that should lose one of his LRMs. No knockdown though? No, nope, apparently not. That's me done for- well no, this guy's still gotta go this turn. Oh, wait, did he go already? No, he didn't. Barely hit, Commander. Gonna give that melee one more shot and that guy's back. Maybe we do a punch or something. I don't know. Yep. Oh, sorry. I thought he was shooting for the cycle in there for a second. Alright. Aye, aye. Regain stance. Commander. Excellent. Let's put Drop this guy back. on his ass if we can. Can we hot load this? I know there's a chance for damage the tubes, but we're gonna hot load it and fire it. Because we're like hurting here. Alright, firing. Nope. Yeah, well. We had to at least land some attacks on that guy. Okay, so we go before him. 
Keep shooting me, buddy. I'm under heavy fire here. It's okay. You'll be returning fire in a second. We got these other two guys, so should be able to should be able to return fire this turn. And then we're going after this, the SRM uh, J Edgar. Yep. Uh, no. Standing by. Yes. So punch attack is 84. Kick is 92, somehow. Physical weapon is 92. We'll go with that. Position confirmed. Let's see how we do here. Putting my weight into it. Alright, well at least we got the knockdown. All right, that's tricky. Hmm. Okay, do I go after... No, we don't. We go after the Nidhogg, I think. I'm gonna move here. Uh, because we're going to use the fire starter on the trebuchet from this side, because we go before him. The Nidhogg right now is the main threat, I think. So let's fire on him. One of the chaff made their way through. Oh, here comes the rest of the uh, MRMs. Okay, getting there. He's got two rocket pack 15, son. Let's get here. We could delete this guy. I think we do. We're going to delete this guy and then we're going to use the uh, fire starter on the other guys. Show me your war face. Mech destroyed. Okay, now, fire starter can move over here. And engage the Nidhog again. Phoenix is starting to heat up pretty badly over here. Yep. Like this. So the Nidhog barely moved. So the slug should work just fine on this. What's the cluster? Yeah, see, it shouldn't um I don't think it's going to cluster. I think it's too close to cluster. It might. It's a better chance to hit, so we're going to use it, but we'll see. No, it clustered. Okay. Don't know if it was better to cluster it or not, but... Good damage in the front. Alright. Waiting for orders. Let's get in the trees. Hightailing it. Get a little bit of armor out of that. Can unload on this guy. Go for the leg, maybe? I want parts out of this guy, but I don't want to die to get them. That's it for him. Okay. Commander. I think we only get one part out of that, but that's fine. I'm okay with that. Let's get you out of the way. At least I can't see you directly. Got some incendiary rounds. This guy will probably just shoot it down. Prowler, where is the... There you are. Copy that. Hopefully at least the, the hex that he's in is on fire. Nope. Damn. Okay. Kind of left the Phoenix hung out to dry here, but I'm okay with that. He's got half decent armor. He's 45 tons, so or 50 tons, I think. So he's he should be fine. I wanted to put the I wanted to put the Phoenix or the uh, PPC on the Phoenix. We just didn't have yeah. the weight and everything to do it properly. Okay, let's get a side attack on this guy. 
And yep. Okay, good damage. I'm liking that OG fire starter, man. Wow. Not OG, but Omni fire starter, I guess. Um, yeah. I'm taking Nice. Vehicle trashed. Receiving you. Looks like you got tons of armor left. On my way. Double time. Yeah, we just don't have the speed in this guy. We really need the speed. Where is... There you are. Acid rounds. Let's drop these off for now. Alright, well. At least he's got acid on him. Ready to get it on. Do we... Yeah. I'm gonna pull here and drop some heat. Standing by. So your left side is intact. Confirmed. So let's keep that to the enemy. And go after the SRM. He's got three SRM sixes, man. Can be deadly if we get close. At least he's on fire now. Yeah, he's coming for you. He's coming for you. So this guy goes. He'll take burn damage. I well, AMS said I am already. Holy crap. I think we got lucky with this this match too. I think if um Orders. If this was two lances of max, it would have been a different fight, I think. On it. Okay, we get our stability back. Fire this, drop this. That way we can push next turn. And yep. All right, sensor scramble, blinding, blinding flare. Reporting heavy damage. What do you need? Need you to close with the enemy, please. Get some big guns on this guy. Right here. Nice. Aye, aye. Got past the armor. Well, that didn't On really, but... Way. I just like the saying. <laughs> Alright. What do we got here? Pretty good chances. It's probably a kill shot in this guy, but it's an overkill shot. So, let's go on the Prowler. Okay, I'm on it. Reporting. Heavy That's the Peggy. Prowler. Okay, good damage, not bad. Yes, Commander. Okay, on side shots on both. Feet. I think you're probably gonna be Yeah, this guy goes before anybody else, so let's go on him. Whatever you say, uh. That should do it, I think. Yep. One for the scrap heap. Excellent. Uh Commander? Don't have enough speed. Don't have enough Double speed. Time. Let's go. Okay, so if we go and the heat on this guy. Sure. Ready for orders. All right, let's see if we can finish him off now. Actually, how badly damaged he is he? Might be able to get him with the LRMs, so let's go after this guy and maybe we get lucky on him and kill him. Ah, uh, he's got lots of armor. So let's go against the guy that I think we can kill here. It's fine. Confirmed. Yeah, there we go. That's fine. Reporting. 
Vehicle destroyed. Get the kill. Guns out the field, please. Look at the pieces flying over here. Man, we got... We dropped behind them. They were honest, like, from the beginning. Yes, Commander. I, I'm kind of glad. Like, I was worried at first that if I pushed in like that, it was going to become an issue. That we would, um... End up being in a lot of trouble. But it worked out really well. Worked out yeah. really, really well. Move order received. Let's finish this guy off. Ooh, missed the big one. Missile damage ain't gonna cut it against this guy, guys. Yep. Roger. Nice. Standing by. Let's make sure no one's directly in your way. Alright, it's winded up. I'm not afraid if it jams this turn. Hail out. Damn it. Good to go. Yeah, get in the trees. Heading out. Save a bit of armor. Whoops. Yeah, keep shooting your own guy in the back. God damn it. Orders? Alright, do we I don't think it's doubled the damage. It just so that's 69, 56, 69, 43. Those can't go. Do that. Heading out. Yeah. Negative damage. Well, we got the kill anyway. And you know what? She's not the best pilot in the world yet either, so... Mission successful. I think I'm just being super harsh against Melee because I don't really like it all that much. I think that's probably the, the biggest problem. i got to stop being that way. I recognize that's a failing of mine. Um, yeah, I'll show you that mech in a second here, the Swordsman. It's only 40 tons too, right? So it's like it's not going to be... Deli oh my god. Oh, right. I forgot we need, uh... We need five pieces for this playthrough. <sighs> Nidhogg pieces are nice, though. AC-20 Federated. Goss Rifle. We just don't have anything to mount that, though. That's the problem. An MRM-10. Snub nose PPC. Okay, you know what? As much as I want that, we've got an avatar in the other playthroughs, so... Let's grab stuff I know we're going to use with this one. The MRM-10 is a possibility. There's two Saladin parts. Two Hetzer laser parts. Okay, so we've got lots of SRM-6s. Case 2. C3I system. Improved? What? Is that improved, or...? Hmm. One sensor ping, 25 vis visibility signature. Allies receive 6% sensors and 4% sight distance within 240 meters. 2.5 tons, though. It's kind of weighty at this moment. Oh, Clan Endosteel. What mech was that on? The Avatar? Um, I'm gonna take that. And I might take this for sea bills, but probably not. Uh, improved. Night vision really helps. And heavy pharaoh, even. Just gonna drop that in for now, see what else is down here. Double goss ammo. MRM improved. You know what? I think we go with this. Let's just take this. 
Okay, we got two Hetzer parts, Nidhogg part, two Ost War, Prowler, Saladin part, Trebuchet part, not bad. They got the AC-20, that's beautiful. AMS flares, nice. Gauss rifle, machine gun plus, don't really care. Uh, we got the C3I unit. Uh, those we chose, basic sensors can just go away. We got them already and that can go away. So we got actually a really good roll off of that. I mean, didn't get very many mechs and vehicle parts that I really wanted, but the Gauss rifle, the AC-20, the C3I, that's pretty nice, gotta say. All right, well, we've taken that from Free World League. Beautiful. Uh, let's have a look at um, Mech Bay here. So I can show you what I've got going on with the Swordsman. So the Swordsman, 40 tons. Unfortunately, it's not very fast. I'm, I'm limited by the cores, right? We don't really have that many cores, unfortunately. Not much I can do about it. So, and if we can get a double heatsink kit eventually in this too, that'll make a big difference. We've got the three ton um, Vibro Sword in here, uh, which came off of the Urban Knight. And then we got a mining drill which I picked up in the store. Or no, I think I got this offline somewhere. I think it came off a of Centurion or something like that. Then we got uh, integrated searchlight, which helps for close range, right? Um, so cockpit hot seat. Yeah, it just gives me walk 30 heat per turn. Like I don't have the ability to sink any of that, right? Yet. Once we get double heat sink kit in here, it'll be a different story. Um, but just yet we don't. We got maxed out armor. So we got defensive gyro in here. So we got spiked armor, which helps a little bit. Um, so, I mean, it's getting there, right? We got a pirate fire control system in here currently. Um, yeah, it, in it increases weapons heat and stuff and recoil. But like I said, we're going to be like mailing most of the time anyway. So, and battle computer range was just so that the SRMs and the pulse lasers have a bit of extra range while we're closing with the enemy so that they're still relatively effective because we don't have any long range weapons on this thing. And it's really not that fast. It's like 5.8 or something. 4.7. So it's pretty, it's pretty sh like slow. We need at least a 240 core in here, I think. 240, two, two, like 240 or 250 or something like that. But we don't really have it. Like I don't, oh, we got a double heat sink kit here. I guess I could, do I not have double heat sinks? Did I not have enough? I did. Well, why didn't I put double heat sinks in here? Is it just me being an idiot? Probably just me being an idiot, which is like highly likely. So you and you gives us an extra ton, right? That should just like blow the heat out of the water, right? And then maybe something that. Rather than the ECM, maybe like a Beagle probe for better detection. I don't know. I don't know. So you don't really have the stuff I really need to make this work. Not yet, anyway. Well, spiked helmet. Well, we got the hot seat cockpit in there, though. It's a little better. Um, I think the pirate. I don't know if the. I don't think this. The plus one accuracy. I'm assuming that's. Yeah, with ranged weapons. But the evasion pips ignored. Is that only for ranged weapons, or does that include melee as well? Probably. Probably does not include melee. I mean, we could go with this too, right? OP accuracy, but no big deal. We got a 240 here. So how much does that use up? Yeah, we got to drop four tons. Three tons because we only need one of those. I mean, and that gives us what speed? Five nine. It's a little better. But for the amount of damage we're doing currently, I think we'll leave it here. Um, just for now. Uh, regular double heat sink. Enemies receive one sensor ping and 10% visibility signature within 210 meters.
I thought about putting the stealth system on it, but this mech is slow enough as it is. It doesn't need to be any slower. Could go with plus that one accuracy for the pulses. Just temporarily. Uh, weapon. What do we, do we have any... We got a ballistic hard point left. The support hard point is already used. Where? Where is the support? Oh, it's in the head. So we could... Do I have a tag or something here? Narc launcher. No, no tag. Got a cultivator. I still think that mine drills a little better. I think it does more stability, right? 40 stability. Sony does 10. Yeah. So yeah, man, I don't know. I really don't know. Let's just put... I mean, that's a little bit of a benefit. So when I get close to somebody, their visibility goes up. I got a sensor ping, hopefully helping me and the allies out a little bit. Uh, I mean, we could drop... No, nah, I think we leave the ECM. I was going to say we could drop the ECM and go with the pirate ECM and then have a couple of tons of space left, but... No, I think we... Yeah, let's just... Uh, let's see if this helps out a little bit. I mean, the other thing is to put this in. For the pulse lasers to help when I get close. But I think we go this route for now. Let's just go this way and see how it works out again next for the next mission. But yeah, I mean, it's 40 tons. It's not... I mean, we uh, need to find more melee items, obviously, because they don't really have any. So, that's the goal. And this Phoenix here, too. It was tricky trying to... Like, these old mechs, it's, it's tough trying to get them outfitted correctly because you really... Like, you're limited. I got one laser and two, two missile hard points on this thing. So, you got to kind of put the biggest laser you can with the least amount of weight and then the biggest missile racks you possibly can, right? So, I mean, I guess it's okay. You know, it could be better, but at 50 tons, you know, we got, what, we still have two support hard points left. If we had a tag or something, I might be able to squeeze a tag in or something, but... But yeah, there's really, like, no space. The, the best load, like, the best mech, I think... It's funny because I've heard Thunderbolts, people say they don't like Thunderbolts, but strangely enough, when I'm trying to outfit this mech, mech and it's a pretty much stock Thunderbolt, right, to start with, um, I keep forgetting it's got multi-track as well, but, um, so that in itself is great, as long as you remember to use it, but the, it's so versatile, like, I mean, you've got four laser hard points, one in the arm, three in the torso, two ballistic in the other arm, so you can choose to go for a big laser or a big, big ballistic weapon, pair of missile racks so you could go with lighter lasers and bigger missile racks like it's very very versatile there's like a lot of things you can do with this and every time I go to load it out it's like it takes me the longest to figure out what I'm going to do with it because there's just so much you can do with it you know so I mean we can go like for instance now put you in there put you in there and we're maxed out but we still got extra Wait, right? So we could we could swap something around if we wanted to. So, but you see what I mean? It's like very, very versatile. I kind of, I really, really like it. I gotta say, I really like it. Now, all we need to do is get uh, some Clan XL engines because they don't have any. Once we get or or even light engines to start swapping out the core because this thing started with like primitive engine, right? It was like the very, very primitive version of Thunderbolt. But it's been so easy to load out. Like, it's been very, very easy to load out. You know? 
but yeah anyway I'm going to leave this episode here um, hope you guys enjoyed it um, tomorrow we're going to be hooking up with the first static defense and uh, yeah that'll be it for, for the week and then on the weekend hopefully um, we might be able to get started with um, the next scenario because uh, it'll probably be a weekly thing so I'll probably just do it once a week I'm going to continue playing missions with these guys um, for the next little while I'm going to have my next like next the following week after this one I'll have um, probably a new map and a new section of Astrakhazi to keep going on um, but as I said we were going to segment the other lances from the uh, um, Dragon's Rejects and the Night Gaunts into smaller units much like this is a small unit because the, the battles go much quicker with smaller units uh, and then at the end of the week I'll run a long, like a bigger, longer battle uh, for the end of the week. So yeah, I'm going to end this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.